everyone. Kathy here with the Whippy Soap Company. Today we are talking about the DIY bath bomb kit. Um, there's actually two versions of the kit. This is the very first version I created and then starting today they're coming in a new container. So I thought I'd just talk about the difference. If you receive this kit, you're going to get one, two, three Ziploc bags full of pre-coloured baking soda and one bag of white citric acid. Those are the key ingredients that are needed to make a bath bomb. In this kit, I received these today. Obviously, I prefer not to use plastic unless I absolutely have to. So I ordered biodegradable food grade containers and they just arrived today. So I've switched to this kit um, or this packaging rather. Now, I've also done one extra step and that was from feedback from a customer. I've actually mixed the citric acid and the baking soda together for you. So if you get this kit, all you need to do is scoop out as much or as little as you want, add water and off you go. With this one, you actually have to measure out two parts of coloured powder to one part of the white crystal and that's it. Also in the kit, you get an instruction sheet which tells you exactly what you get tells you step by step exactly what to do as well as some tips some troubleshooting or some suggestions on how to make it even more fun in your kit you also get regardless of which kit you get measuring cups now these little plastic cups are actually what we're using for molds you could use anything though as long as it's a hard-sided surface uh, but make sure it's got a little bit of give to it um you know so that we can make sure these we can push out the bath bomb so maybe don't use mum's best you know china teacup or her favorite mug you might not be able to get it out uh, use these you'll be totally fine you can also use an ice cube tray i like to use ice cube trays it makes for a nice size bath bomb particularly for the little kids and then you can get lots and lots of these out there you go today we are going to start with this kit because i'm going to show you how to measure out what you need if you get it in this version and so let's go. All right, what else do you need? Not in the kit, you need a bowl. You can see I've already been using this one and you need some water. I like it in a spray bottle. I want to be able to control how much water I use. Anyone who's had a bath bomb knows that the fun happens when you put baking soda and citric acid together and then drop it in the bath. Fizz, 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 that's what activates it. So if I put too much water into the mix once it's in the bowl, it's gonna activate here and we're gonna have a party in the bowl and not the bathtub. That's why I like a spray bottle. If you don't have a spray bottle, don't worry. Simply put little drops of water on and mix rapidly until you get the consistency you need. All right, so let's go to town. If you got the first kit where they're separate, follow the instructions. This is what it tells you you're gonna need two parts of the color to one part of the white. So make it easy. I'm using a half cup of color to a quarter cup of citric acid. And I'm gonna mix them together until I can't see the citric acid anymore. If you got this kit, Yours is already mixed to this level. So if you've got this kit, you're gonna be here and we all get to start together at this point. So once it's mixed, you're gonna take your water and you're gonna start by putting just a tiny bit in and work quickly. If I didn't work quickly, that's when it would start fizzing up and it would actually not work when we put it in the bath. So work quickly. Mix, 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 use your hands, stir around, don't forget to get all of the stuff off the sides, scrape it off. And I'm looking for the consistency, as if I was making a sandcastle. You know, imagine it's a beautiful sunny day, you're at the beach and you want to make a sandcastle. You want it to be just wet enough that all of the sand sticks together. So how will I know if it's wet enough? Well, I'm gonna take a handful and I'm gonna squeeze it really, really tight and let go. Has it stuck together? Well, it's not bad it's kind of falling apart and if I dropped it it would definitely fall apart so that tells me I need to add just a little bit more water maybe one squirt maybe two and work really quickly again I'm gonna go all the way around the edges of the bowl I don't want to waste any we want to have fun with this all right once it kind of feels like it's nice and damp like sand 
try that squish test again. Let's see how it holds up. Oh, wow, that is perfect. It's kind of held up nicely in my hand. And if I drop it, it pretty well stayed together. I think that is pretty good. I could maybe make it the tiniest bit damper, but that's pretty good. We can go from there. All right, so I'm gonna get my cup. This is what comes in the kit. We're gonna fill it up. Always fill it from over the bowl. That way if it spills, you won't lose any. It'll fall right in here and not on the kitchen floor. Now you could fill this up. You could do it halfway. You could fill up an ice cube tray. You don't have to use all of the mix in the kit in one go. You could also mix the colors together. Imagine what would happen if you mix blue and yellow together. You get green. What about the pink and the yellow? Get kind of a nice orange or maybe make some purple with the blue and the pink. All right. So I've used an ice cube tray. I've used my cup. I'm going to leave these for a day. These are going to be too damp. You can't use them right away. By the way, if you have leftover, just keep filling up any containers or else leave it to dry like that and you've just created bath bomb dust. Uh, either way, it's going to work and it's going to fizz up. Now, let's get one I made previously. If I turn that upside down, it's fully dry, but it's not coming out. That's why I say don't use a really hard container because I want to be able to push this and see if I can get it out. Oh, there you go. That's our bath bomb ready to use. And I can reuse this to make another bath bomb. You still got some of your kit left? Keep using those little cups until your kit's done. There you go. Don't want to waste any. All right. I look forward to seeing your creations. Maybe get mum and dad to send me some pictures of what you make and uh, have fun. Have fun in the tub. Enjoy.